Right, I've got to put this blog on again. I'm flipping it, I just blogged about the smart motorway. But some people missing the point. They're saying if, if you read up on it, it tells you what to do. Don't talk stupid. Say it's foggy, right? There's no signs around the M60 in Manchester yet. Anyway, they've been doing it for two or three years. There's no hard shoulder. There's no safe places to pull in, right? So here's a scenario, smarties. Say it's your daughter who's 18, nine, just passed the test. Or she might be a little bit older and she might have your grandkids in the back seat. Are you going to be comfortable if she runs out of petrol or breaks down? No, she's not run out of petrol, but they do. Are you going to be comfortable that she's stood in a lane with nowhere to go for safety with your grandkids in the back seat? You're not. You can throw all the scenarios you want at me. It's the same old story, isn't it? The government does whatever they want. That's why we're all sick of it. That's why a lot of people voted to get out of Europe. That's why they all voted for Trump. Because we're sick of politicians. We're sick of the government. We're sick of the people in power. Because you've got no common sense, none of them. They just drive you mad. You try doing something without a risk assessment policy, without about 20 people on your back, or other things in business, the VAT man, the tax man on your back. There's always somebody in authority pecking down on you. But they do whatever they want. But they're putting our lives at risk. And nobody cares. They don't go, no, maybe we shouldn't have done that. No, you shouldn't have done it. You built three lanes in the 60s. We're now in the 2016. We need five lanes. Not no hard shoulder and narrower lanes. I don't care. It's not right. It's wrong what you've done. And I think the public need to stand up and ask you why. There was a coach the other day. Killed, well, he was in court the other day, killed a load of people on the motorway. He thought it was a smart motorway because he kept changing it from smart to not smart. And it was an hard shoulder at that point and he wiped them out. This is my point. And don't say people will read the signs. They won't. We're not taking into account, like I said, if it's raining heavy, if it's foggy. Most of us ignore the signs. I've done it. Because you get sick of them. The flashing's slow down and there's nothing there. And then you'll come around the corner. There will be something there. This is a problem. There's no consistency with you. I want your risk assessment policy and I'm not arguing about it anymore.